Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series and we have something new going on. You guys have been asking for it. I was going to wait for some proper thumbnails to come in but instead I thought why not just go ahead and we get stuff like this. The custom characters are in the randomizer. They've been put there. Like I said I was kind of holding off until we got um until we got like some custom character art. I'll probably still go for those but honestly let's just go ahead and uh, add them in now and we have some interesting stuff here. So we are playing as Tainted Job. Now, Tainted Job is kind of weird. We can gain broken hearts in order to, like, save and keep items using the Duas Custodia. Uh, or we can just take them and we have the chance to lose them on the next floor. I believe we lose 33% of our items. But both Quince and um, Canes of the Rye aren't exactly the best. So I don't mind losing them. Of course, we start off with pretty poor health as well, so... We'll see how this goes, but yeah, let's just uh, carry on. But it's kind of cool to um, to have uh, some modded characters finally in the series. Like I said, I've been like, not having them for a while because I was kind of originally planning on having them all having custom Turtle Melon thumbnail art first. But at the same time, I'm just like, why, why wait so long? Why not just uh, go ahead and do it and give you guys what you've been asking for? So here it is. We will get out eventually, I do hope, but at the minute, we'll just... Uh, Play as we are. And of course, we did end up getting probably one of the harder uh, modded characters off the bat here. So we're going to have to um, play around with this and see how this goes. But this is definitely one of the harder custom characters. Because we have kind of bad health to start off with. Like I said, we can actually lose items if we don't uh, if we don't use our Duos Custodia. And we're going to be getting broken hearts alongside that. So maybe I should have kept Quint thinking about it. But honestly, I think we'll be okay. Because the thing is, it's not going to help us in situations like this, is it? Because we're not killing anything, so it's not that bad. We're doing decent enough damage as well. We start with basically... Oh, actually, we start with exactly base stats, so that's not anything too weird. There you go. And of course, we get our double items again here. I really couldn't care less about losing either of these, so let's just go for it. Uh, and I'll pop this... Actually, I'll pop all of them. Do you know what? I'll pop all of them. Hey, there you go. That's pretty good. Um, and we will go down to the next floor. Okay. Let's see how we go. I don't know what boss we're going to. It just says Mega Satan for now. So we're pretty open-ended here. Um, but yes, as you can see here, we did just lose experimental treatment. Oh, although I think we kept the stats from experimental treatment by the looks of things there. That's pretty nice. I didn't expect that. We kept the health upgrade. We kept the damage that's really nice. Um, of course, we managed to keep Quince, which is good. Um, we kind of needed Quince there for that, that extra booster damage. But considering um, experimental treatment, let us keep that sort of stuff. It's actually really, really nice. Um, yeah, I'll take both of these. I will take both of these. Right, one kind of interesting thing that I didn't know about Spin to Win is it makes your blue flies invincible. So we can do this, and our flies are going to go and trash enemies and not be able to die. Which is pretty nice. Like, we can just do that look, and then the blue flies stay alive. It's it's a pretty interesting little thing with Spin to Win. Like, something that a lot of people aren't going to know about. And a good way to make Rotten Hearts kind of stand out a little bit here. Uh, so let's go over to our item room and see what we get. Obviously, another thing about this character you probably already have noticed is we get doubled items. We're always getting twice the amount of items. So I do think that money equals power is the first one that we should that we should keep. So now we get that and we'll never be able to lose it. I think that's probably the first item that's gonna be pretty necessary for us to keep. So we will hopefully never lose that. I don't know if we can lose space for items. We probably can. Okay. Ah, damn it. I did take some damage there, but I got enough money to stand sort of make up for it really. So yeah, we just got to make sure that we're constantly using our spin to win where our flies are about to attack. Like, now. It's a really, really weird little interaction, to be honest, but I really like it. <laughs> hey, extra soul hearts. Right, fly, you go for this enemy here. There you go, and then spin to win. Keeps it going. And we could try and do that a little bit on the boss as well, because it'd be pretty useful for the boss. Kind of wish I'd have kept spin to win under wraps now. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. So obviously, I lost them all because I ran out of spin to win charges, but that still was real good. 
Also, Spin Twin's just really good uh, with Slipped Rib for us to protect ourselves, to be honest. Um, some good stuff there. Nothing I want to keep, I don't think. And then we'll uh, take a look in here. I'll take this, this, and we'll be on our merry way. Right, let's go. Hopefully, we don't get too many good things taken off of us here. We we are going to lose. Sister Maggie. Okay, we, we, we lost some stuff that I don't really care about losing there, so that's fine by me. That is fine by me. So we're actually having a good time with this character so far. Pretty good time indeed. Just gotta be very, very careful. Oh my lord. <laughs> Spin to win saving my life so much. It's kind of crazy. Well, hello. I did not you know you were over here. We got him. The damage we're dealing right now is pretty amazing. So obviously, Duas Cassodia being a, um, being a 12 room charge does mean that we can't save many items, but we'll hopefully get like one every floor or two. Oh, are you kidding me? I spin to wind myself into the spikes. That's just not fair. Good. Check out this. Our burn heart's been filled. Lovely. Yeah, I'll do this for a, a stone chest. A stone chest. A wooden chest. And we got ourselves a nickel as well. Even more damage. Very glad that I kept that item. Just pop the devil here. Why not? And we'll keep the sun card for now. Do you know what? No, no, no. I'm just going to pop this as well. Speeds things up. Gives us mapping. And there's our charge now, so our item room might be a little more valuable now. I do love this character design. Very, very difficult character to play, or at least can be. But it's got some really interesting and unique mechanics. That's a lot of money. Right. Neither of these do we want to save. Also, it's kind of funny that both of these are so similar. Uh, we got conjoined. Okay, that's good. I like getting conjoined. Oh, you're alive. I didn't <laughs> I didn't realize for a second that this guy was alive. Got a full card here, not super useful. I, I'm not even gonna bother going to my shop, you know, because I think it's just too tempting to, to spend my money. I'd rather just keep all the money I can. Super nice having full mapping here as well. I'm not sure why these enemies are uh, the wrong the wrong colour there. They're meant to be like the, the sort of blue underwater theme, but instead they're the the, the wound themed versions, like the meaty ones. These guys are going to do a little cough breath at me. Let me be careful for that. Okay, we're good. Let's get in there. Unfortunately, we don't have our rotten heart anymore, so the spin to win fly tactic isn't quite working the same way it normally would. Got to remember as well, spin to win's a nice speed upgrade. Like, just for a little bit to, like, get away from this dude. There we go. We are doing great damage right now. Okay, Salsa. Again, this is items I don't really care about keeping. They're both decent, but neither of them are amazing. Um, ooh, I will, however... Wait, can I... Can I keep these? I don't know how this works. I'm gonna take Sanguine Bond here. I don't know how this works. Can I do this? Did that work? I don't know if that worked. I picked it up, then used to do as Custodia, so I'm hoping that means that that's locked in now, because I want to keep Succubus. But yeah, I'm hoping I get to keep Sanguine Bond there, because Sanguine Bond can be very powerful. We've risked quite a lot of our health here, but we'll see what we lose. Okay, so we lost Pentagram. Ah, uh, we lost Pentagram and uh, our Burn Baby, so we lost Conjoined, unfortunately. <laughs> Okay. That's annoying, but mostly fine. I think the two items we have locked in are pretty good. Okay, knocks them back a little bit. A little annoying to lose so much damage, but we've still got Quince, which is a very big get for us at the minute. Quince is doing great work. 
And yeah, Succubus is super good. We get that damage aura for the damage boost that we just lost. And all, all, also, obviously, it does damage two enemies as well in that radius. So that helps a ton. So yeah, just Tainted Job is just such an interesting character, I think. Such a cool design. I mean, all of the Tainted modded characters are really cool. All the modded characters in general that I've got on the list are really cool. By the way, there may be some characters that you're sort of missing out on that I've added to the... Uh, the roster currently, but so far I'm keeping it basic. I've got Job, Mastema, um, Andromeda, the deleted. Uh, I think that's it actually. There might be one more maybe. The deleted's kind of a eh, iffy one. I'm not sure. I might just lower the chances of getting that because obviously the deleted runs are a bit wacky. Right, so. We don't have Deus Cassidia available here. Um, extinction event. Upon use, causes meters to fall from the sky. The duration of the current room. The meters explode and impact can burn enemies in a very... Um... Hmm. I'll, I'll try that out. I'll give that a go. I, I mean, a spin to win's been good to us, but this sounds very interesting. Let's give it a try. Whoa, the visual effects on this are really cool. Yeah, I like that. I like that. In boss rooms and stuff, I feel like that could be very, very powerful for us. Maybe we should have saved it for a boss. But, oh well. Hey, that's pretty good. So the forgotten here. Ooh, kind of a kind of a iffy room to start here. That put me right in front of him. I didn't really like that. It's okay, though. We should be able to out-damage this dude. Yeah, there you go. Um, Again, both of these are just kind of like... They're good, but I don't think they're worth saving. And we'll see what we lose. Please don't lose um, Sanguine Bond. I really hope we get to keep Sanguine Bond. Ah, we finally lost Quince. Unfortunate. That was one of our sort of star items. But it had to happen at some point, didn't it? It had to happen at some point. Okay, good, good. We've at least got great damage for now. This is definitely a meteor-looking room. That's such a cool effect. I really like that. Golden bombs as well here is rather nice. You know what? I think I can safely say that this is worthwhile. Yeah, extra money. Pop the lemon pie. I'm keeping my soul of the forgotten so to try and use that... Uh, Sack room if we find one. So they're very, very useful against sack rooms. They just drop bombs everywhere in rooms like this. Makes our life a whole lot easier. Unfortunately, this is just trash. Don't care about either of those. Probably should have kept our uh, charge key there, but oh well. Okay, at this point, I'm probably going to try going to shops and buying some HP. Because we kind of need it to use a Sanguine Bond. Oh, there's another charge key. Okay. Right, you're going to pop up any old way. Yeah, there you go. Good, good. Try and go back for our shop. Yeah, I just want to try and buy a little bit of HP. Just to make it so that we can play a Sanguine Bond a little bit more. Also, we kind of want to be full clearing to try and find that sack room I was talking about. And that's going to be pretty darn useful to us right now. Get him. Yeah, I think this is worth it. Any any opportunity to like massively increase the amount of money we have is always going to be worthwhile. And golden chests are a great way of doing that. Be careful of these dudes. I managed to kill that guy with blue baby's only friend by accident. Then I wasn't even paying attention. It just it just hit him. Be careful of the spiders. Succubus is doing a great job of keeping them at bay. To be honest, the they kind of insta die. Yo. Okay, this is a nice place to have extra bombs. Ooh, hello. Both of these are very good. I'll take them both. I'm not saving many items here, but you got to remember, I, I gain a broken heart every time I save an item. So I really want to be only saving items that I feel are integral to our build. Really only want to save items that I really desperately need. Like money equals power, which is giving us just a ton of damage. 
And the, the more bad items we get is actually better because that's more chances for them to get taken away from us. We'd rather them get taken away from us than our good stuff. I don't think there's really any rhyme or reason to what gets taken off you either. Uh, do you know what? We can take that. We can grab that. Some extra bombs. Oh, I can just walk over things now. I got stompy. This looks secret roomy to me. Here you go. I always like it when I'm right about stuff like that. <laughs> so satisfying. Okay, this is actually kind of good as well. Steam sale. Steam sale's actually a potential save, but I'm I'm gonna gonna opt out for now. Um I think this is worth grabbing. Just because it could give us some hearts from Sanguine Bond sort of thing. Ow. Ow. Really? I got hit twice there? Are you kidding me? Death card. No, thank you. Right, let's, let's try and find second secret room. We got golden bombs, so we can kind of just check everywhere here. In fact, we should have should checked this room over here, right? I realize it's probably closer to the boss, but still, it's worth checking these avenues. Sometimes it can be down this way. Right, let's keep going. I'm a little upset about my current HP, I'll, I'll be honest. Ooh, that's good. Um, Clockwork, yep. And Ghost Baby, yep. Stars card? No, thank you. I'm going to stomp on all the skulls I possibly can here. Which I don't really know where many of them are, so... <laughs> Not working out too well. Uh, this could be another second secret room chance here. Both here and here. Nope. Okay, same with here, technically. Not there. Could be here. Trying all the avenues. Oh, there it is. Got it. Okay, quite a lot of stuff there. Cool card. I actually think Polished Burn's a little better for us right now, I'll be honest. Right, let's go. Do our boss. Okay, get those meteors coming down. Ah, you bastard. He fucking landed one of these guys right on top of me. Still no devil deal there. We'll take meat and we'll take that. And we'll just go. God damn, I, I swear like every other mod that adds a meteor type effect is always really laggy. And this one's just not at all. It's great. So it's going to take... That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. It took, took, took a lot of items that time. But that's because we, we got a lot of items that last floor. I think it takes like... I don't know. It takes like so many out of the, the 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 most recent ones you got. I don't know exactly know how it works. I can't remember, but it seems like we're doing fine for now. Okay. Of course, we've got these clockwork tiers now as well, which are helping a bunch. We get. I think one of them's extra damage and one of them's bouncy. Oh, we don't have Leo anymore. Shit. I'm trying to walk over those rocks. The meteors could be a little bit problematic for enemies like this. Okay, good. Hey, we found a secret room via this. That's nice. Um, check here. Ugh, I'm, I don't even care what either of these, I'll be honest. Sadly, just some trash there. Some absolute trash. TM trainer. Yeah. Let's let's do it. Let's take TM Trainer. Obviously, this is going to be wacky as hell, but it does mean I get to show something off that's pretty unique, pretty interesting, uh, that got added to external item descriptions recently. This is going to lead to some craziness, but it does mean that our uh, item is all as valuable now. So, oh my lord. It went till my tears stop. Dude, how did you manage to still hit me then? Okay, good. Got a soul heart out of that. Okay. 
get those meteors on you. But good, getting so many burnies. Okay. You should be pretty much toasted. Good, you are toasted indeed. Okay, so. Right, let's just check this out. We got... We'll take the Polaroid, I guess. Right, so we got an active or an active. We really don't want to take actives here. But let's have a look. Plus four soul hearts on you. Steal damage in an area. This is the thing I was talking about with external item descriptions, by the way. We actually get to see what these do now. Um, then converse all the projectiles in the room to bugger tears. Then gain Balrog's head for the room and gain Lord of the Pit for the room. This one is 1.5 black hearts. On room clear, spawn an imp. On kill, chance to convert all pickups in the room into Mr. Mega Bombs. Then convert all... Okay, so that's not very good. Let's just pick it up anyways. Why not? Right. And we go in here. Take out all of these real quick. So. Unfortunately, that's an active. May affect familiars. On hit... Um, on hitting an enemy, chance to spawn an explosive here. Then gain Sister Maggie for the room. Why not? What the bloody fuck is this? Where did you come from? <laughs> what are you? That did, that wasn't explained anywhere here. Of the forgotten. Right. Sanguine bond in it right now. It's also it's actually going pretty pretty awfully the sanguine bond. I'll be honest. We've gained basically nothing from that. Wow, that was that was, that was bad. We gained fuck all from that. Okay, Sanguine Bond is uh, not doing too well for us right now. Right. Okay. <laughs> Plus two coins may affect attack type. Unused farts for the size. Uh, then placebo. Nah. There's not a lot of actives, unfortunately. Unfortunately, these are just all actives. Right. Let's do a bit of boss rushing. Ow. Oh, God. Look at the amount of Sister Maggie's we've got already. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know if using it multiple times helps, but I'm going to keep using it. Where's Horn? Oh, there you are. Yeah, this is uh, this is gonna get pretty wacky, isn't it? I really hope we get some good HP out of this, cause uh, HP isn't looking so good for me right now. There's some interesting stuff going on right now, though, with uh, all the sister Maggies and this this familiar that's got stuff orbiting around me that I don't know where it came from or what it is, but it's good. Sick monstros here, heck! I can't. I can't see any of the enemy tiers because I've just got thousands of Sister Maggie tiers everywhere. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> when I hit an enemy, I have a chance to spawn a Sister Maggie. That's kind of crazy. Okay, apparently I killed the other enemy that's the other boss that spawned. I, don't, I never even saw what it was, but... Oh, what the hell? I just got hit by something. What the hell hit me then? Fear my sister Maggie. Fear them. Wait, is it literally only spawning one boss a wave? Or am I insta killing the other boss? Because I never saw another boss even spawn then. Oh no, the other boss is just insta dying. Like the sister Maggie train is just like annihilating everything. Okay. Don't know what that means, but thank you. Okay, careful for this. Still don't know what this means. It teleports all my familiars to me, though, which is nice, I guess. Gurgling, where are you? Oh my god. <laughs> this is very strange.
This is very strange. This run got real weird real fast. I appreciate it. It's fun. Oh, we got an imp there? It's a friendly imp there. I, I thought when it said spawn imp it was going to be an enemy. But apparently it's a friendly one, which is great for me. Let's not get hit here, shall we? <laughs> Look at this just ball of tears that we keep firing here. I, I honestly don't know what's, what this effect is that keeps happening on the screen where it makes the entire screen white. It's pretty distracting, I'll be honest, but... That is TM Trainer in a nutshell. I love the fact that TM Trainer can pull from modded items as well. Um, okay, our item spawned and it spawned us two bombs. So that was uh, really worth it. Anyways, we'll be uh, we'll be going now. We don't have much health. I gotta say, we don't have much health, but we'll uh, we'll see if we can make it work. We only lost one item that floor. That's good. Oh, we got hit immediately. Good. I have a feeling we die this floor, but I will try my best. <gasps> Half a soul heart, thank you. <laughs> We're not getting too many sister maggies at the minute, but that's fine. I've got to try it. Okay, it did work. We did get the items. Now we just got it. No! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Okay. Ooh, that's definitely a good trinket. Let's take that. God damn, the amount of burnies we've got is insane. I got hit? What? How? I was moving so fast. Yeah, at this point, like I said, there's just shots that are just coming at me that I'm just not even seeing. I'm just hoping for the best every time. Oh, I got hit again. We're so dead. Oh, ha, 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 ha. And then you give me this, boss. What fun. Is everything dead? That it is. Right. Before everything gets deleted, let's check a little look what these do. May affect tier effects. On room clear, far. Nope, that's crap. Plus one black heart, mirror effect, fire rate, on you, spawn a metallic tier, spawn fire rate, spawn a fire fire tier, convert all lit bombs in the room into multi-dimensional babies, then gain scorched air for the for the rest of that room. Okay, okay, okay. It gives us a black heart, so I'm gonna take it. And we'll we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Who knows? There's some shenanigans going on right now, but it gave us a black heart, so I can't be too displeased. Just try and survive the best we can. This is good. I'm going to lose some damage here, of course, but I need HP. Doesn't matter. I forgot that we won't be getting HP. Um, when you take damage, use Golden Razor Blade, then deal zero damage in an area around you. Then deal zero damage in an area around you. <laughs> Great. Um, when you take damage, gain Spoon Bender for the rest of the room, gain more of the Void for the rest of the room. That sounds pretty good. I will take that. Come on, give me some more health, please. That's a door mimic? Are you kidding me? Why? Okay. Plus one heart container. Heal for uh, a little bit. On you, skin. The bean for a room. Okay, we gotta take this because it's plus one heart.
I don't actually know if it's anything worth using, but it heals us, so I have to take it. Oh my lord. We are getting wrecked, sir. <clears throat> okay. Oh god damn it, it transforms him into bombs. Yeah, some of the descriptions are so long that you can't actually properly read them. By the way, I do have a Rotten Heart, so I'm still going to currently die in one hit, so... Best, I was just about to say, best get some health soon. Luckily, the game agreed. What hit me? What keeps hitting me? Oh god, we are so fucked in this room. That's a Dominic, don't walk into that. There you go, we're dead. God damn it. We, we tried our best. That was pretty nuts. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy, crazy tainted job run. And I'll see you guys in the next one.